In the late 1940s and into the 1950s, there was an era of anti-communist paranoia that swept the United States. The Red Scare, as it became to be known, ignited due to numerous events coinciding. The start of the Korean War, Soviet espionage, and the development of an atomic bomb by the Soviets are factors that contributed to hysteria. But the one infamous figure during the time was so involved that his name became an adjective to describe the hysteria at the time and since. Senator Joseph McCarthy of Wisconsin in February 1950 said he had supposed lists of 200 communists that infiltrated the State Department. From then on, McCarthyism, as the mythology would be termed, reigned. People from all walks of life were accused of being communists on trivial, blown out of proportion, or plain made up facts. Eleanor Roosevelt was not happy about this assault on civil liberty as she saw it, and it affected her personally when her friend, activist Mary McLeod Bethune, was accused of being a member of subversive communist groups. Com commenting on the, the accusations in the My Day column, dated May 3, 1952, Eleanor said, If we were not so sad to have a respected and beloved American citizen insulted and slighted, it would be funny. But those of us who have loved and known Mrs. Bethune for many years must speak up in her defense. If we do not, then this country of ours is in danger of curtailing the liberties for which our forefathers fought. I still believe that people should be considered innocent until they are proved guilty under the court of law. I still think that a life of work and service should carry some weight against idle accusations of a group of extremists. I know the danger of communists in this country, and I know the subversives can do us harm. But it does us much more harm to tear down the fabric of justice and fairness and trust in our fellow human beings who have a life record to disprove an idle accusation. Truly no one was immune from McCarthyism. Even General Eisenhower in 1952 came under attack, accused of being associated with communists. Eleanor's response to this? This type of thing is becoming so ludicrous that each time it happens we should point it out and say to ourselves, How stupid can we be? Is hysterical fear turning us all into morons? It is worth a note that J. Edgar Hoover, head of the FBI, kept an enormous file, one of his largest, on Eleanor, convinced she was carrying out subversive activities.